Hey everyone and welcome, I am Sailor Drew. Today we're taking a look at the Magic Box event in Love Nikki, which is yet yeah, another event on top of the time flow, which let's go ahead and go into that because I actually like the music. Like, it's amazing. If you haven't done it, do yourself a favor and turn up the music while you're playing this event. Um, but the Magic Box is separate from the Dream Palace event that will launch on April 5th. So this might have some of you newer players in a bit of a tizzy as to all of the events coming at you at once in addition to this massive hell event, Wisfum, which is 10,000 diamonds or higher uh, to play and complete. But I have some really good news, hopefully, for you guys about that, so stick around for that. But the Magic Box event is a type of event that we've seen in the past before. So going into it, basically what we have to do is select which of the two uh, suits that we think will fare best as far as scoring goes. Kind of like the Stylus Arena, because again, the Stylus Arena isn't about what actually looks the best or is the most logical choices, it's about scoring. And for Water Playground, and I'll throw the graphics up on the screen for you guys, and th this was, um, you know, the left is my stuff that I normally do for you guys, throwing up the attributes for you that I've always done, but the right, I have spliced from OG's event guide pages. And thank you so much, Caitlin and JC for letting me use these again. Um, if you want to look at the written pages, these of course are in Zen Garden, which is my love Nikki group, and then also in OG. But Water Playground is going to be, uh, we're looking for uh, cute, sexy, lively, cool, and simple. And typically you're going to want to look for the cowboy hat and cool clothes. So we're going to go for the one on the right. The one on the left is more like elegance, uh, especially with the the hair. And we get confetti cannons. Five upon guessing correctly. Three for uh, guessing incorrectly. Now snow magic. Uh, let's see here. So obviously we're looking for something warm. So the attributes are simple, pure, warm cute and lively and the one on the right obviously right off the bat is gonna be warmer than the one on the left i mean look at her poor little legs all exposed <laughs> but the scarf and the also the panda dreamland hat recolor um are warm clothing items snow magic again let's go ahead and choose the one on the right just because of the sweater tied around her shoulders there. Oh wow, okay, so this is actually making it a lot easy for me because um, it's giving me pretty much the same theme like every single time. There are a total of five themes. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the one on the right because the pom-poms are usually high scoring and warm themes, even though the one on the left is like, like an actual like snow inspired dress. Walk in the air. All right, so this one's a new one. Uh, so attributes are uh, lively, pure, cute, cool, and simple. So we're looking for, um, I think I'm gonna go with the one on the left because of the scarf um, are usually more casual, simple clothing, especially the shorts and that shirt, um, as well as the shoes. Okay, good. Excellent. So far, so good. Water Playground. Uh, we're going to be looking for, uh, again, cute, sexy, lively, cute, and simple. Uh, so I'm going to go with the one, oh gosh, on the left because of her tennis shoes. Typically, the ones that have sunglasses or masks, face accessories like that, um, are usually elegant theme winners. Excellent. Okay. So, uh, people are saying that they're, um, and I even noticed this last time with the star, uh, insight 
event that the more you recharge, the trickier the themes get, um, where the items, the winning items that I have and the losing items that I have up on the screen um, aren't uh, like present. So you kind of have to really do your research by going into the wardrobe and looking at things or just going off of your memory. Uh, walk in the air, lively, pure, cute, cool, and simple. So I'm going to go with the one on the right because it's a bathing suit, even though she's wearing a sweater. Uh, because again, the headpiece would denote that this is a more of an elegant winning look. Okay, perfect. And we get 10. Oh, let's see. Walk in the air. Um, yeah, I'll go over the math in a second. So... Let's see here. This one's, see, this one's a little bit harder. I'm just like, I don't know, man. Um, I, I think I'm going to go with the one on the left because it seems like, I, I'm kind of thinking like her socks and then like her hair. Oh no. Okay. See, so got it wrong. <laughs> uh, and I got three confetti cannons since I got that one wrong. Uh, walk in air again. Um, this one has a more elegant thing. So I'm going to go with the one on the right. So that one should be fine. Um, so yeah. Uh, so let's take a look at the math, high scoring items and everything else. And now, this event is seven days long. We get 10 free tries per day. So that is going to afford us a lot of free currency, which will drop down the price as it's uh, pretty nice in that we get to choose which items that we want. Uh, we need a total of 690 of the confetti cannons to complete this suit. And if you get all 100 or like 100% of your guesses correct, you're looking at a total of 1,360 diamonds to complete this suit. However, if you get 100% of your guesses wrong, including the ones that you've recharged <laughs> to get this suit, you're looking at 3,200 diamonds. So a bit of a big window there. Um, I have never gotten 100% on this event and like like this type of event, like ever. Um, I've gotten a little bit more serious about these events because usually I'm a little bit blase about it. Uh, but since this is like essentially going to be like the third <laughs> event, like within like a two week period here um, that is launched and is going simultaneously, um, kind of have to be a bit more judicious with our diamond expenditure. So I do have the return cost for you guys. It's 2,211 diamonds for the suit. And that of course does not count any sort of V level discount. So like for me, like I think I get like a, um, let me see here. Uh, so I think I get like a 20 something percent discount, uh, 25 percent discount. So that's going to drop it down significantly for me. So that, um, cost isn't going to be so high for those of you who are V level players that have discounts for the, uh, diamond items in the stores. Now, the 2,211 diamonds, it sounds like it's a lot more expensive, but you guys, again, like I was saying, um, these events, it's a bit hard <laughs> to get a hundred percent correct guesses. Um, I'll even throw it up on the screen, but someone in Love Nikki Zen Garden actually posted a, um, uh, a choice given and both suits scored the same exact thing. I think if they would have chosen the other suit, they still would have gotten it right because technically it's still correct. I've also had guesses where there has been a 10 point difference. So the 1,360 price tag is pretty, um, I mean, seriously play the lotto or something like if you get 100 percent and you guess everything like like you're amazing <laughs> you need to be in some sort of love nikki think tank uh but it is extremely unlikely that you'll be able to get 100 percent of your guesses correct now the most expensive items to get um 
now versus later if you are planning on completing this suit at some point whether it be now or whenever the suit comes back and like maybe if you do like half and half which I typically do I typically am now doing just like parts of the suit and then I'll wait for the suit to come back to finish it uh, but you're go going to want to get the earrings and her necklace to save you some money um, some diamonds that is um, now, another thing to consider is that, um, again, I think a lot of you are having some anxieties about all these events coming towards us, and I wanted to kind of explain to you guys a little bit about how Love Nikki goes. So I've been playing for nearly two years, um, the, the actual two year anniversary, even though we're having all of our anniversary stuff happen kind of now, is actually going to be April 20th. And I started playing like a week or two after it launched, so I've been playing for quite a while. And I've been making guides since August of 2017, so nearly the entirety of that time as well. So hopefully I will be able to give you some information and some wisdom that will help calm you guys down. Now there are th several different types of events, and the magic box, as cute as it is, um, and it is adorable, there's a lot of details to it that I really, really love. Um, is going to be what's uh, uh, like a, a return suit. So we have events that uh, either return and you have to participate in the event again, like the story suits, uh, like the Wispum suits that we have going on right now. Typically what happens is that they come back around one year um, after they first debut on our server and you'll pick up exactly where you left off. However, the event might be a little bit more expensive. They typically tack on like a few hundred um, more diamonds worth of expenditures that you have to uh, forfeit <laughs> to complete the event. So like if you needed 300 currency to complete the event the first time around, but the second time it comes back, it's 350, you'll still have your 300 currency. And there's really nothing you can do other than just doing your free pulls. Sometimes we get really cool gifts like avatar pendants if the event returns and we completed it the first time. But so if you can complete Wisdom now and you're not really sure what to do, magic, concentrating on magic box and the smaller event in the Wisdom, the, uh, the palace might be an alternative for you. Um, so that way you can complete suits now and then wait later on. <laughs> um, it's just, you kind of have to gauge what's in your means, what is possible, things like that. So either way, suits that come in events like Magic Box do come back. Um, they come back within like three to a, uh, three months to like a year, depending on if they're um, debuting on our server. So I actually did think that Magic Box was a debut because I've never seen any of the art before. But since we have the, prom uh, the return costs, it's it's already been out there. <laughs> um, so that's also good news. So this suit will come back to our server to craft and buy pieces three, uh, three months to a year. So typically, again, if the suit isn't debuting, making its first appearance on our server, it will come back like within like three to six months. Now, the third type of event that we have on Love Nikki, it's also a hell event. However, it never comes back to our server. The suits never come back to craft or buy, and they never come back for us to pick up where we left off. Those are ranked events. So there was a bit of a controversy a while back um, with ranked suits and ranked events. So we still get ranked events in a way. Um, and if you're curious as to the controversy and how things kind of changed for our server and why our server is the same as the Chinese server in its regards to ranked events, um, I suggest you check out my fireworks event video. Um, I'll post that in the description down below for you guys. Um, but neither, well, neither, like, because we're about to get into the third event on the fifth, uh, but none of the events that we have currently going on fall into this category. So all of these suits will come back. 
So hopefully that that will kind of ease your mind, guys, um, because I. I do. I get your anxiety. I mean, me. I'm like sitting here. I only have like 3,000 diamonds. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much everything. So really this suit will just be kind of um, something that you'll get because you really want it versus like you need the suit. <laughs> Um, you know, especially for those of you who are like high scoring fanatics. Um, but yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please hit that like button. Also, um, you know, I have other Let's Plays going on like Moonlighter. Uh, so episode seven is coming up here shortly. If you haven't already checked it out, I highly suggest that you do so. It's a really fun game. Also, if you enjoy what I do and want to see about getting a fancy badge next to your name for the comments and live chats or behind the scenes content, like um, I'm going to be posting a very raw, unedited version of this video for channel members, uh, then go ahead and check that out uh, and maybe consider becoming a member by going to youtube.com slash sailordrew slash join. And until next time, guys, hit that like button and take care. I'll see you in the next video.